In this video, I'm going to show you how you can paint this delicious gingerbread house from scratch using acrylic paint and just a touch of Christmas magic. Let's get started with this delicious little painting. Hello there, my gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. It is your girl, Amanda, the buzz artist. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I realized I never made a gingerbread house painting before, so I figured this is the perfect opportunity to do so. That's the thing about gingerbread houses that I absolutely love. They all are a little different. You can make all these little embellishments and really go ham or go simple, and it's gonna come out really, really nice in the end. And to start off, I want to make my background, which is this nice pale blue streaky background. Really, you just need your three quarter inch flat wash brush, a little bit of water, and that mix of blue and white together, and you want to just create vertical strokes on your canvas. And once you have your background done, you're just going to wait for that to dry, and then you're going to take the stencil for our gingerbread, and I have a link to the stencil in the description below. And don't be alarmed by just how detailed the actual stencil looks. These are all options if you want to transfer some of those details that I have on the stencil itself to your painting, by all means go for it. If you want to skip some, that's totally fine too. I just decided I wanted to add a lot more embellishments in case you want to follow along or use that as reference. And I use our very simple charcoal transfer method. I just take a carbon pencil, go over the lines that I want to transfer onto tracing paper, put the paper backwards, and then using a pencil, just go over the lines again on the back side, and it transfers all the carbon onto the paper. So you have your own little virtual ghost house, <laughs> at least it looks like. And once you have that transferred, it's now time to start adding and embellishing. I decided to go for a red frosting house, which I, th I saw this and I was like, oh my god, that is adorable. I really love this. So I just combined a mix of red and titanium white for the front side of the house and then almost like a pure red for the side of the house just to give it more dimension and look like the sun is hitting the gingerbread house from the front side. Always got to think about our values, right? Am I right? <laughs> And once I did that, I just decided to go ahead and add whatever colors I thought would look nice. I decided I wanted to do a white roof, and on the front side of the roof would be two candy canes going up. Again, you can go ham on this, and you can add any colors that you like that I'm not using here. It's totally up to you, and because you have a stencil, you can do a lot more gingerbread houses if you wanted to, so it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> And if you want to dive deep into the magical world of acrylic painting, but you're not quite sure how to get started, my new Skillshare class, The Magic of Acrylics, Acrylic Painting Basics for Beginners, will help you answer all those burning questions that you got. From the supplies you need that best suit your project, to how to mix dozens of bright colors without having to buy hundreds of dollars of paint tubes, to ways to stay motivated so you're always brimming with ideas for future paintings. If you want to give this class a try, hop onto Skillshare where you can try the class for free for 14 days, and I'll include a link to that class in the description below below and enjoy letting out your inner creative badass. Okay, back to the gingerbread house. There were a couple times where I went with a color and it just wasn't jiving with me, so I just literally painted over, like on the door here, I put a window and I had like one color scheme and then I kind of looked at it and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that very much. So I literally just ended up painting over the window with the same color as the door and just tried it again with a different color and it worked very, very nicely. <laughs> Y'all, this year has just been the craziest year of our lives. Can we just can we just say that out loud? Because it has been nuts in trying to stay positive throughout this whole experience, but at the same time being realistic and wanting to see people, but knowing you know what the consequences are. So it's tough. And if anything, I hope you're filling your days up with something that's just for you, that helps you feel loved and appreciated and kind to yourself. Painting is that avenue for me. It's that gateway for me to just to relax and to be okay with the mistakes and with the way things are and just move some paint around. This gingerbread house is kind of that perfect opportunity because you can really be creative and just stretch the bounds. If you want to add embellishments, if you want to take away some embellishments, that's totally up to you. But I always found with gingerbread houses, the more you add, the more details you add here and there, cuter and more adorable it looks. And y'all, this 
gingerbread house is so freaking adorable. Like I kept adding more and more snow and details as I went along. I always work big to small, so work on the big shapes first and then little by little, you just keep adding more and more details with your small detail round brush as you go. And that's exactly what I did here. I just worked very slow and steady and looked for opportunities to fill in any gaps that I didn't like. Especially on the roof, I just kept on adding snow and piling it on, and I just really, really loved how that came out. So really have fun with this. Enjoy the process. If you're not liking how a color goes or if something is not quite looking right to you, let it dry, go over it with a different color paint and start again. It's totally fine to mess up. In fact, put on a movie in the background while you're painting and just enjoy this painting process. It's almost like a coloring book in a way. You just have to fill in the colors and the embellishments and kind of switch your mind off a little bit. And for extra added measure, I just grabbed my number 10 filbert brush just to help pat and make some snow on the bottom. And you'll see it really creates this fluffy looking snow texture, which was hit the nail on the head for me for sure. And just because this is me, good old Amanda, just loving embellishments, I just added little hints of white throughout to add highlights. And of course, snow. Like I mentioned before, I kind of went ham on the snow because maybe this is just my inner child being like, I want snow and I want it now. <laughs> so you can opt to make more snow or not add snow, totally up to you. And then added a little cute bow just to top it all off. And from there, you have yourself a little cute gingerbread house that you can add to your Christmas decor and just bring a little touch of whimsy, color, happiness, good memories and nostalgia into your home. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. You know what to do so that you can see more videos like this from me to you in the future. And everyone, as we get closer to the Christmas season and things starting to get more hectic, just remember that you are important, you are loved, you matter in this world. And most of all, remember to be kind to yourself. I love you all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!